Are you building or designing a roof and now you're wondering how to consider the snow load? In this video tutorial we show you how to calculate the snow load for flat roofs. If you need to calculate the snow load for pitched roofs then check out our article on our homepage. So we'll first look at the formula for the characteristic snow load. Then we'll determine the snow load shape coefficient mu1. We'll determine the exposure coefficient CE, the thermal coefficient CT and the characteristic snow load value on the ground. Then we'll finally be able to calculate the snow load. And at the end we'll apply the snow load to an example structure. So let's get started. For a persistent transient design situation, formula 5.1 is used to calculate the characteristic snow load as mu i times CE times CT times SK, where mu i represents the snow load shape coefficient, CE represents the exposure coefficient, CT the thermal coefficient, and SK the characteristic snow load value on the ground. So now let's have a closer look how we get those parameters. The flat roof we're looking at in this example counts as a monopit roof and therefore the value for the load shape coefficient mu1 is given in table 5.2 for an angle of 0 degrees as 0 0.8. Eurocode recommends the exposure coefficient CE to be taken as 1.0. However, this value depends on the topography of the location. Table 5.1 categorizes the topography in windswept normal and sheltered, with different values for CE. In this tutorial we assume a normal topography for our design. So therefore CE is defined as 1.0. But as it is a recommendation, you should also check with your national annex if CE is defined differently there. Moving on to the thermal coefficient CT. Eurocode defines CT as 1.0. However, this value can be reduced if the roof is covered by glass, which would lead to melting of the snow. In our case, we're not using any glass, so therefore we'll define CT as 1.0. The characteristic snow load on the ground is found in the national annex of the country your roof is located in. However, there is a great online tool made by Global Software, which calculates the snow load according to the location and national annex. Click on the link in the video description below, then on the snow button, select the national annex and enter your location. So for a flat roof located in Copenhagen, Denmark, we get a value of 1.0 kN per square meter. Now finally, we have all four values required to calculate the characteristic snow load of a flat roof. Let's insert all those values in our formula and then the snow load for a flat roof located in Copenhagen, Denmark is calculated as 0.8 kN per square meter. For the structural design of the timber roof elements, the snow load is applied perpendicular to its surface with the area load 0.8 kN per square meter. To summarize, for a flat roof located in Copenhagen, Denmark, the snow load is calculated as 0.8 kN per square meter. Now we can go ahead and design the timber beams in one of our next videos. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. You can also find other structural engineering guides on our homepage, structuralbasics.com. Until next time.